Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm currently at Venderbite and I've just taken on board a bunch of tomb colonists. They want to go on a bit of an adventure of the Untersea. Unfortunately though, having them on board means that I really don't have much room to do much of anything else. So I kind of just need to get this quest out of the way before I even really consider doing anything else. And the first stop that I need to go to is Gator's Morn, which thankfully is pretty close. Thing is though, I feel like this quest is going to be pretty boring. I kind of regret taking it, because now I'm stuck with them. I mean, I suppose... I mean, I suppose I could just toss them overboard, right? <laughs> yeah. I could just toss the Doom Colonists in their caskets just straight overboard. So, you know, I'm not, like, literally stuck with them. I could just get rid of them. But that wouldn't be a good idea. No. That's a bit mean. So, I did take them on board. I did say I would transport them. I'm not going to kill them. I'm not going to drown them. I'll be a nice guy. I'll be a nice vampire. I feel a kinship with their... coffiny confines. So... Yeah, let's just start doing the quest. Let's get it over with. Let's hope it's not too boring. Um, I think I am going to cut out most of the journey in between places, though, because I do feel like it is going to be kind of boring to watch, because I feel like it's going to be boring to play, so I'm just going to cut right here, and I'll be back when something interesting happens. Here we go. We're passing Massey's massive smoking hard shaft. Almost to Gator's Morn. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Yar. Let's go for some pirate action. Oh, oh. Damn it, that thing is actually really fast. Holy crap. Alright, well, we're spotted. Ramming speed! We're good. We're good. And dead. Give me your cache of curiosities. I'm curious. Bolt of spider silk. Here we go. Tomb colonists in Gator's Morn. Today we are to visit a pirate's nest. I look forward to their scars. I hope the captain will keep them safe from us. It's been a while since I killed pirates. Hmm. It looks like they're gonna be up to no good. Can either send a crew to watch them or just let them do whatever they're going to do. Ooh, 32% chance of success, that's not great. Unlocked with crew of five. That says to me that I might lose up to five crew. Hmm. I mean, losing five crew wouldn't be debilitating. But that'd be really bad. That's one third of my crew. Hmm. It sounds like, from what this is saying, it says they'll only drink too much Red Ruin and cut up someone important. Then they'll get cut up in turn, and before you know it, you'll be picking their bits out of the Z. That seems to uh, imply to me that if I send a crew to watch them, what I'm basically doing is kind of endangering my own people to potentially save them. And I'm guessing my payment is probably dependent on how many of them return. So the more of them I save, the better my payment, is, is what I'm guessing. Well, let's try it. I'm probably going to fail, but I want to know how many people I lose. Oh, I succeeded. Wide eyes. Captain, your sailor implores you. Don't send me out with them again. They're like sharks in fancy dress. Big Ransom cheated him at cards, and the little one tried to put him in the oven. Made him eat his cards. With pepper. Yes, I counted them all back. Now I'm going to lie down. Aw. Poor Zaylor. Alright, looks like we're going to Polythreme next. 
But first, let's see, do I want an evening at the Errant Limpet? No. Maybe if I equipped my Wretched Mog, which I could do, to defend myself from the bar brawl that's probably going to ensue, but no. Let's not do that. Gather intelligence. 45%. Mm. Eh. Yeah, I don't really want to explore this place. This place is scary. I don't like it. And this is the place where I can sell my sunlight-filled mirror catch box, but it's really not worth it to sell it here. Just like the frickin' of Red Honey only has a 25 profit margin, this only has a 50 profit margin, because the box itself costs 250. So it's only 50 over just the cost of the box itself, and I had to travel all the way to Aestivelt to do it and gain a wound getting it. So, nah, there's got to be a better place to sell it. Or use it. Okay, man, we're, God, we're going to be going really far away from London. I'm going to be in Polythreme. Uh, is there anything else to do while I'm there? I guess it kind of just depends on where we're going next. We might even end up down south, which, if we do, then I could make some stuff happen. Like try to find that cockatoo for the Cook's Quest, which should be from that showman guy at Adam's Way. Uh, but anyway, that's complete speculation. It just depends on where we're going next. So, once again, I will be back when something happens. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. I just took a stop at Port Cecil just to get a port report, basically, and I used up my Something Awaits Me in Port to explore the island, and this just happened, which I don't think I've seen happen here before. In Amber. Some disturbance of the Undersea... Sorry, I keep wanting to make everything a Z. Some disturbance of the Undersea has brought sunken ruins up out of the water. But these stones were lost beneath more than the sea. They're half encased in a smooth, translucent orange substance, like amber. Even as you watch the ruins groan and shiver, the convulsions that brought them up will soon take them below again. Hmm. So I can chip some of the amber away to sell or examine. Uh, chipping it away to sell is just too greedy. I'm, I'm more curious about what you know where this thing came from. Let's examine it. Even with my terrible veils skill, I still have a 75% chance of success, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's check it out. The amber encasing the ancient stones has cracked under the grinding pressures of the earth. You could scramble in and examine them. Whoa. Whoops. Of their bones. You squeeze through the fissures in the amber shell to explore the ruins within. The dwellings are low and windowless, thick-walled, flat-roofed, like those in desert countries. Nothing like anything in the neath. You find shattered pots, glass beads, and bones, all mired in amber. Something wrong about these bones, one of your sailors mutters uneasily. A seasoned woman with a little surgeon's training. She's right. The shape of the skull is not precisely human. The arm bones have splayed out like twigs off a branch. Another exclaims as he finds the bones of a small animal, coiled together like a knot of serpents. Shapelings, someone hisses. You think that's what they say, but none of your crew will admit to speaking. There's a rumbling from below, you all scramble desperately for the exits in the amber casing, squeezing through one by one, just in time. The amber snaps shut, and the ruins sink again beneath the waves with a tremendous roar and show of foam. Huh. That's it. That's interesting. Didn't actually get much for that, just 20 fragments and that's, that's it. But what an interesting and strange thing. I mean, think about that. There's there's multiple levels of really interesting stuff going on here. One is just, like, why the heck is it encased in amber, and how did it, like, float up here? And the other thing is, why is it even here? It said, thick-walled, flat-roofed, no windows like those in desert countries. Why would something that belongs in a desert country be in the Untersee? 
It, it obviously doesn't belong here at all. So, how did it get here? Did it fall through from... the surface? There's not many holes. I mean, the only hole in the... in the ceiling of the Cavern of the Untersea that I can think of is the one that lets the light into Aestabel. And that's it. I don't know. That's really strange. That's really, really weird. Alright, well, that's it for here. So I will be right back when the next interesting thing happens. Okay, I'm almost to Polythreme. Just a, got a port report of Godfall, and there's some unfinished men right above me. Just gonna chill in port until I kind of see them again, although uh, it looks like they've rode away. Let's go hunt them down. Oh, there they are. Oh, here, here we go. Yep, 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 they should be perfect. Slow them down, get behind them, come on. Alright, we're good. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Just watch out for the face. Do not go over the face. That thing is creepy. No! Don't back up! Bolt of spider silk. I also thought of something really cool that I can do, cool and new, that I can do right after visiting Polythreme. But I'll save that as a surprise. Oh, I just got some boinkage. I totally missed the boinkage. I just noticed the view is looking all weird and then I just realized it went right past it. Damn it! Forgot to call out the boink. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, so I can pay to stuff their mouths with bullet cake, whatever that is, and they'll stay out of trouble. Hmm. 100 echo to make that happen. Hmm. Sure. Oh, yeah, I should probably read this first. This is the city where the stones of the streets cry out. Excellent. If I wanted silence, I would have stayed in Venderbite, where even the bats hesitate to squeak. I look forward to a number of considerable headaches. So basically, I'm with a bunch of, like, crazy mummy-like party people. <laughs> They're looking for a night on the town, and they just happen to be mummies. An unruly lot. Alright, I'll pay for it. Lost five terror, lost the echo, tour continues to the chelinate. Oh! Okay, to the chelinate. Hmm. Well, let's read this first. Oh, wait a minute. I just. Oh, 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 I just realized something else. That means. Right, I finished the quest. Um, Glory's Bone. Or Glory's Bones, whatever it's called. And I need to take it back to the guy at the chelinate to turn it in, so that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be there anyway. Excellent. Alright. The well-fed dead. They walk a little straighter when they return. They creak a little less. Living cake! exclaims one cheerfully. My head is swimming with vigor and joy. I must consume more live food. Do you know? I can almost see why cannibalism. So where are we going next? <laughs> you can almost see why cannibalism? What? That's a very awkwardly constructed sentence. Also, you. Let's get a port report. Don't got no room for clay men. Not really very lucrative to do that anyway, so... Nope, nope, nope. 
Okay, yeah, we're done here. So, yes, I... Oh, you know Hmm. I wish I had more supplies. Because I know they don't sell supplies at the Chelinate. And they're very expensive at the Empire of Hands. Ooh. In fact, there's really, like, no supplies down here whatsoever. I think there might be some at Savior's Rocks. I think. Hmm. Yeah, let's go check. Let's go check at Savior's Rocks for supplies. Because I kind of have to head there anyway, because that's where I want to do the new thing. So you might remember a while ago I found the Wreck of the Nocturne. Now what I didn't realize when I zailed past it is that it's actually a docking place. You can actually dock there, that's why there's an anchor icon. I had no idea. So there's probably some cool stuff that I can do there, like exploring the wreck or something. So, let's go visit it. But let's go check out the nativity first. See what's going on with the dream spiders or whatever they're called. You know, I'm actually going to turn off my lights, because my fear is not even close to high. I do want to conserve my fuel. I really think if you get close to the shore that some of the spiders should, like, jump off onto your ship. That stuff's still extremely dangerous, due to my very low veil skill. Yeah, 15%, 11%. Deliver the tomb colonists. Oh my god, I can sacrifice the tomb colonists to the dream spiders? Wow. I wonder what that would lead to. Interesting. Ah, uh, right. Can't get a port report without a cask of mushroom wine. Delivery of trinkets. Um, yeah, I mean, that I can do. I'm trying to remember if that takes any hold space. I don't remember. I hope it doesn't. Where did it go? Is that it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't take a hold space. Sweet. Alright, that's all good. Ah, yes, thank god they have supplies. I'm also going to need fuel, too, though. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Let's go check out... The Wreck of the Nocturne. Which wrecked around the land of the spiders, so I'm guessing it might be infested. There you are. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Boink. Ah, look at it. A <laughs> ghost ship covered in webs. Shrouded with shadows, wrapped with webs. The webbed hulk of this once proud vessel refuses to be dragged be beneath the black waves. Oh, I need candles! I just need one candle to go there? Damn it. Hmm. I really want that. I really, really want that. What's the nearest place that has candles? Khan's Shadow. It's not that far away. And I can restock on supplies and fuel by going over there. Ooh. Ooh. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I really want to see what's on board. I'm just hoping it's not the sort of thing where I need a bunch of candles. Where it's like, you know, if you want to keep exploring deeper and deeper, you need more candles. It doesn't say anything about that, so I'm hoping it's not the case. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to go over, going to pop over to Con Shadow, grab a candle, and I will be right back. Almost back to the wreck at this point. And it turns out um, you can't actually buy candles at Con Shadow. 
What I meant to say was Khan's, uh, heart is where you need to buy candles. Khan's shadow does not sell candles. Hey, unfinished man, please don't attack me. So yeah, I had to go a little bit further than I thought I'd have to, all the way back to the center of the map. But that's okay. It'll be worth it. Hopefully. I also bought two candles instead of one, just in case one is defective. You never know. Might be some uh, bad batch of wax. I also sold a captivating treasure at Khan's Shadow. Just because I want some spending money. You never know when you might have to bribe somebody. Plus, I'm hoping that uh, I can take a stop at the Isle of Cats and pick up some red honey. I think I want to attempt that again. I want to make back the money that was stolen from me. Because the, the really bad thing that happened with that is that I didn't have enough money to actually pay off the people, to pay off the inspectors. They required 500 Echo. So I want to have extra money if I do do the Red Honey thing, which is why I wanted to sell a captivating treasure. Okay, let's go. A harrowing emptiness. The fate of the Nocturne is well known and proven by the webs stretching across its battered hull. Aside from those and a few signs of struggle, the contents lie mostly undisturbed. After all, what use have the masters of Savior's Rocks for trinkets, baubles, gold, and gems? If the crew and passengers were lucky, they merely became lunch. If not, you've heard the stories. The kind of Z stories saved for campfires on distant shores and cold nights when the rigging creaks. Of the Tree of Ages, a harbinger of doom, crewed by sorrow spiders. What happened to the lovers who found Storm's broken heart in the sandalwood box? The suicide songs of... Mere superstitious nonsense, of course. Of course. Even so, it remains a relief when the candle finally melts, and it is time to leave this place to the waves and rocks. Interesting place, but nothing happened. It looks like I can go again, though. Is it going to do anything, or is it just going to do the same thing? I mean, I can't think of what else I'd use the candle for, so... What the heck? <laughs> nope, does the same thing. Alright, just wasted it. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, that was interesting as far as lore goes, but disappointing in terms of results. Alright, let's head to the Empire of Hands and then the Chelinate. I really am running low on supplies. I really need to get rid of these damn tomb colonists. My terror is going up so fast with my lights off. <gasps> oh my god, it's the Savage Lorn Fluke! Whoa. Your cook is outraged. One of the tomb colonists has woken from his coffin dressed and found his way to the stores. When the cook came across him, he had consumed a half wheel of cheese and an alarming quantity of suet. Return to the hold, you bastard. Ugh, lost his supply. Looks like he's complaining. If you had provided me with more commodious quarters, if this ship did not pitch so abominably, a man grows bored, you know. Death is deathly dull, and so forth and so forth. It is a relief when the coffin lid closes. If only you could nail it shut. <laughs> well, I don't see any reason we couldn't. Alright, so th <laughs> this Savage Lorn Fluke is one of the things... Is not the other thing that I can give the cook? Is either the Cockatoo or the Savage Lorn Fluke? Yeah, I'm not fighting that thing, though. It, it's not very big, but... It looks fucking terrifying. Kind of, and it has 750 hit points, which is a lot. It looks like it would pierce my hole in 20 places and just sink me. Let's see if the apes here hate me as much as they did last time. I mean, okay, they don't really hate me, but they really didn't like the fact that I gave them a, a crate of common souls. Fuck, I really am low on supplies. Like, I seriously need to buy some. 
This is not good. I think I'll have enough to get to Adam's Way, though, which is probably where I'm going to be heading. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I head to Adam's Way... Hold on. What do I need to get into Adam's Way? It's either recent news or... Coffee beans? Or was it about Palmerston Port Report? I think I have a port report from Mount Palmerston, so that actually shouldn't be a problem. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I don't even think you need to actually enter Adam's Way proper to be able to buy stuff from the shop. So I don't think it matters. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Oh, right. This is one of the places where the navigator wants me to bring him. Uh, no. I still want him to get eaten by cannibalism. Which is kind of a sick thing to wish upon somebody, but seems more interesting than selling his soul. Okay. There's so many things to do here, I always get confused. Do I want to visit a place? Uh, what did I need for the map? The treasure map? That was a... Uh, Searing Enigma, right? Yeah, I'm looking over at my notes. Yeah, so I need one Searing Enigma, Enigma, which I still don't have. Unfortunately, I used it up the, on the Carnelian Exile. So I still can't get the treasure map. Any reason to visit the court? I mean, sure. <laughs> Looks like the Delightful Adventurous is still there, thankfully. Could do this. I think last time I did that, though, I actually lost more... Like, standing with the court? Hmm. Eh. Do it again. Ooh! Gain five Z-stories. A collector of maps. The monkeys have long sought to escape their island prison. It is the Imperial cartographer's job to prepare for their success. A task hardly made easier by the irregular alterations of the Untersee. The maps of every configuration are spread out over his walls in the forlorn hope that their consistencies will provide a measure of clarity. This would be more likely if not for his habit of idly filling gaps by penciling in variably obscene doodles on the grounds that his seniors will never be able to call his bluff. <laughs> Interesting person. Alright, let's get a port report. And let's go. So yeah, I'm shutting off my lights. I'm really hoping that I'll have... Yeah, you know what? If I shut off my lights, I should have enough supplies to get to... To get to Adam's Way? I'll have enough supplies to get to Varkas, but I don't think you can buy stuff at Varkas. Four supplies, huh? Eh. Eh. Maybe I'll get cool stuff at the Chillinate when I finish the Glory's Bones quest? I don't know. This makes me uncomfortable. I don't like running low. Freaking tomb colonists, why do they have to be so big? I probably shouldn't even use the horn. Probably takes up energy. Okay, we've arrived. And your icons are misaligned for some reason. Let's see. Send them to visit the temple or let them go hunting. Hmm. Alright, so if I let them go hunting, it's very dangerous. If I let them visit the temple, they're probably gonna piss off Storm. Go piss off Storm. <laughs> Look at that, now I have the gods of the Z, Storm's attention. Ah. Distant thunder. What a charming place that was. If you like skin and shouting. Actually, I like both those things. So thank you terribly much. You're welcome. Now I'm going to get smoten by a god. Okay, let's finish this. 
Oh, you can actually make up something. Oh, interesting. So remember back to when I first heard about the, uh, when I first heard the tale of glory. And how the people of the Chelonate don't... I I'm not sure if it's, if it's the case that they don't want the truth to get out, or if they just don't know the truth. I think they just don't know the truth, but they're apparently a proud people that think they conquered glory or something. They think they killed it. But in reality, the truth is it just died of old age and sickness. So the truth is unglorious. So it looks like I have a chance to make up something that's exciting. You know, something that will let them keep their honor, basically. I'm not going to do that, though. 55% chance is not bad, but nah. Going to tell him the truth. His ancestors never slew the glory. She died. Years. Who knows how many. Before they ever came. A sharp snap. He was holding a whale rib. It's snapped in two. He looks up. We're tomb robbers. He says flatly. We're trespassers in a graveyard. Who can I tell? I can't tell anyone. <laughs> That's true. You can't tell people that. I mean, you could, but they'd shun you, kill you. They wouldn't react well. I now have one times supremacy the Canate, and one times supremacy London. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. The Canate's power is growing. I just gave the Canate power? What? I have no idea what that means. I mean, I just completed a really big quest, so this has to be something really good, but I really don't know what the heck these things mean. Does that allow me to do something? Something new that I couldn't do before? I don't know. Oh, whoa. He wants to come with me. Let me come with you. I'm not just living a lie. I'm living on a lie. Take me somewhere cleaner. Oh. Does that mean he's an officer? Come aboard. Sweet. An escape? His step becomes a little lighter as he boards your ship. New tales, he murmurs. Let's put this corpse behind us. Fair enough. Are you an officer? Please tell me you're an officer. You are? Oh, damn it, you're another cook. I didn't need another cook. The Chronicler's heart is wary, but his meals are hearty, and he can make soup out of almost nothing. Alright, let's see how he compares. So... <laughs> his heart is wary, so he actually subtracts from my hearts. Oh my god, compared to plus six. Okay. So, pages plus three, pages plus three. So the pages are the same. The difference is that... It looks like I'm trading... Seven hearts. So I'm trading seven hearts to gain three iron and three mirrors. Mmm. I don't think it's worth it. Nah, I like this guy more. Just in terms of stats. Oh, looks like his character isn't very fleshed out. I can't speak with him. In fact, he doesn't even have a full portrait. He's just like an outline. Oh, well. <laughs> this place really doesn't sell supplies. Or fuel. Alright, anything else to do here? Shore leave? No. Port report? Yes. Okay, three supplies, seven fuel. Can I make it to Adam's Way? You know what? I should be able to. Yeah. And let me just verify. I am done with the tomb colonists, right? Let's just verify that. Yeah, the last tour back to Venderbite. Okay. Let's go. Lights off. Full speed. Can't take any stops. I really hope I don't encounter any ships or anything that makes me go out of my way. 
going straight to Adam's Way. Yeah, I, I am going to have enough supplies, so long as I don't have to take a detour. And even if I run out of supplies, it's not the end of the world. I won't be stuck dead in the water. I think it just means that my crew starts dying off or something. So I'm pretty sure running out of supplies is not as big of a deal as running out of fuel. Or, you know, maybe it just increases terror. It might do that. God damn, my terror is getting pretty high. Hope there isn't a dust storm down here. I feel like this cockatoo is going to be really freaking expensive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't think I want to know. Yeah, I'm not even going to stop at Varkas. Nope. Straight for Adam's way. Oh boy. Into the fog. Alright, it's the straightest path. Into the fog with no lights. Ah, we're just around the edge of the fog, no problem. Yeah, two supplies, five fuel. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna make it. Although, if there's a cloud of those, like, blue bats or whatever they are, I'm just gonna plow straight through them. I ain't turning. Whoa. Damn, I wanna kill that, but... Nah. I've only got one supply. It'll take too long. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Everything is okay, everything is gonna be great. I'm just gonna turn my lights on now, it's perfectly fine. Again. Alright, I guess I'm gonna lose another supply. Actually, if I lose another supply. Oh crap. That means my hunger is gonna be. That's gonna be a problem because I'm gonna have zero supply and my hunger is about to tick over. Oh well. Let's do it. Alright, make it to port. Make it to port. 32, 40. Oh yeah, okay, so I've got the yeah the Unfinished Tale and Recent News and the uh, Port Report from Mount Palmerston. So perfectly fine. And yeah, it looks like you don't need any of that stuff to actually trade. Thank God. Reasonably priced fuel and supplies. Um, before any of that, I guess I should probably do the quest just in case it fills up my hold. Maybe? Well, let's get some supplies just in case the quest maybe needs it or something. Alright. What thing do I care about the least as far as gaining entrance? I think probably the port report. Because I don't think there's any other place that actually needs that port report. Yeah, let's use that. Okay. So yeah, I want to try to find the cockatoo, which... I think means I need to visit the exhibition. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Purchase an elegiac cockatoo for the cook. Oh my 
fucking god. I am so lucky. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I was thinking this would cost a ton of uh, echo, a ton of money. It doesn't. It costs a sunlight filled mirror catch box. Which I just happen to have because I got it a long time ago and was hoping to sell it at London along with the red honey, but I couldn't, so I just kept it. I am so lucky that I have that. If I came all the way here without this with me, do you realize I would have to just go home and just hope to do this like way, way, way far in the future. Because to get that, I would need to get the box and go all the way over to Ace to Bell and then come back here. Like it's, That's a really long thing to do. Holy crap. I'm so lucky. I feel like I keep getting so lucky with the items that I happen to have on board. All right, well, let's purchase this elegant, beautiful bird so that the cook can chop it up and put it in a stew, I guess, or whatever he's going to do with it. Now I kind of feel bad. Algernon is the sober showman's beloved pet. He claims he can never part with it. It reminds him of his bright, carefree childhood in Her Majesty's old surface colonies. <laughs> so if it reminds him of his bright, Carefree childhood? Does that mean I'm replacing his bright memories with a box of brightness? Enjoy! A box full of memories. He speaks wistfully of Bombay afternoons. The slant of the sun through the windows. His tutor's dusty voice, reading Chaucer. Is it actually pronounced that way? I don't know if it is. The smell of cardamom rising from the kitchens. Wordlessly, you take out your mirror catch box and open the lid. Just a fraction. Sunlight fills the tent. The showman gasps. His eyes fill with unsober tears. When you close it, he gives a strangled gasp. He has forgotten what you were discussing. Won't you open the box again? Just for a moment? He asks. He begs. You demur. Name your price, he blurts. Its name is Algernon. <laughs> oh, I love the writing in this game. It's so good. Algernon. Algernon. What an interesting name. I wonder if Algernon is a mascot. Oh, it is! Mirrors plus two. A majestically crested bird which speaks only in... Competent, elegiac poetry. It is of a melancholy disposition. <laughs> I have no idea what competent, elegiac poetry is, but I guess it's depressing. What's my current mascot do? Oh, hearts plus five? Yeah, I'm sorry. The monkey foundling is staying. Man, my mascots must hate each other. I've got a freaking ferret, a mog, and a bird. Like, they're just all going to be trying to eat each other. Okay. Oh, what? Did doing that quest use up my entire day, or is it just because I left? I have to use up another thing if I want to go back. Okay, let's go back. Alright, don't care about the curiosities. Um... So I do want to develop the uh, um, the Citadel Ridden Navigator's cannibalism stuff. And if I remember right, I think this is the place to do it. I just can't remember how to do it. Do I have to go to the hospital? Like, there was a storyline I followed that involved, like, being at a feast. Hmm. I don't remember. Let's go to the hospital. Oh yeah, so I can assist. If I remember right, they just kind of give you stuff. Like, they're just kind of ways to waste time. I don't think they do anything particularly good. Ooh, a guest at the red table no more than zero. Okay, so I think this is actually the storyline that, that does that. I think that's what the red table is. The cannibalism thing, so let's do it. Alright, so I've done this before, so I'm not going to read it. Port report. 
Wait, what else? Catch a nut. No, that's not going to help. Sit beneath the tree? I don't think that'll help. I don't remember. How did I do the red table thing? It can't be the curiosities, can it? No way. Sit beneath the tree? Lost a tear. That's no good. Uh, I guess go to the hospital. Which one has the best chance of success? 64, 66. Let's assist in the cloisters. Oh, two supplies. Oh, here we go. Attend to... F oh, no, I don't have something that waits me in port. Crap. Okay, well, I'm here, and I really don't want to waste this opportunity, so... I am going to hang around and come back. But since I'm here right now, I might as well do something. Let's carry water. What does that do again? Oh, I failed. Doesn't matter. Alright, so let's go back and use my unfinished tail, I guess. Alright, so I think I just need to hang around and just wait. And j Oh, no, fuck, I'm an idiot! What am I doing? I didn't wait for my something waste me in port to come back. Oh well. <laughs> Let's go back and see what's here. Visit the grotesquerie. Oh, whoa. What happened? Gained a secret from the 50 fragments. Nice. Some memories. Cabinet of Curiosities, Tale of Terror, 50 Fragments. Nice, nice, nice. Let's try to catch a nut. Gained a Lamentable Relic. Nice. Good reflexes. Let's sit beneath the... No, let's not sit beneath the tree. Back to the hospital. Cloisters. Failed. Time to return. Okay. That's it. Well, I screwed that one up. But that's okay. I still got the cockatoo, which is... And I got the cockatoo in probably the best way possible. It used up the illegal thing that I had on my ship that I wasn't sure what to do with. So I'm really happy about that. Okay. Let's... Let's see what I need to do with the cook now. I mean, now that I have his stuff, what does he want... You know, where does he want to go? It requires either Colossal Flute Core and Elegy of Cockatoo. Maybe I just need to talk to him. Oh, there we go. I just need to give it to him. When the bird sees the galley, its poetry becomes doubly heartfelt. <laughs> I guess it's the poor thing's getting more depressed. Ah, goodbye, cockatoo. The final piece. Ah, he is magnificent. Come, my solemn feathered compatriot. Let us work wonders. We will be the best of friends. For a little while. They vanish inside. The bird's poetry, even muted, does little to improve the mood of the crew. Several days later, the cook throws a sack of feathers overboard. Oh no! Yet somehow gloomy couplets continue to drift from the galley's porthole. What? Ah, Captain. All is ready. Although we will need wine. Lots of wine. Procure five crates of mushroom wine and make your way to the Fathom King's Hold. <laughs> We're gonna have this feast at the Fathom King's Hold? Oh boy. Is this actually going to give me anything specific when I complete it? Or is this just to do one of the Fathom King's, you know, big, big things that he wants? One of his big requests? Because I know the Fathom King King... Wants me to do, like, all all sorts of stuff. He wants all sorts of exotic technology and all sorts of crazy things. So I'm kind of worried I'm going to invest all of this into this quest, and at the end it's not really going to do anything for me in the, in the immediate future. It won't, like, give me a weapon or something. I'm still going to do it, though, of course. That's so sad, though. I threw a sack of feathers overboard, but somehow gloomy couplets continue to drift from the galley's porthole. What does that mean? 
Does that mean, like, literally the bird is... Like a zombie bird or something? It's still alive, but he just plucked its feathers or something? I mean, what? I, I don't even know. I'm assuming it's just kind of poetic language and it's not actually alive. And gloomy couplets aren't actually continuing, continuing to drift from the galley's porthole. I'm hoping. Otherwise, something very disturbing has happened. Okay, well, I think I'm good for now. This episode looks like it's already running kind of long, although I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to cut out of it. But yeah, that was, um, that was interesting. I actually went really, really far, if you think about it. I started from Venderbite, went over to Gator's Morn, and then I don't think you saw this, it's probably going to be cut out, but I went up to Mount Palmerston to buy some supplies and stuff. And then I went down here, went around to Polythreme, and then to the Wreck of the Nocturne, and then back to Khan's Glory to get, <laughs> get some candles. And then back here. And then down here, and then all the way to Adam's Way. So if you think about it, I actually went really freaking far. I went like this. Yeah, that's that's actually really far for one episode. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. At this point, I just need to get back to Venderbite and dump these damn tomb colonists off so I actually have some freaking room in my hold. However, I don't want to come back completely empty-handed. I mean, not that I've done nothing along the way. I certainly have, but... I think I'm going to take a stop at the Isle of Cats and get some red honey. I want to try that again, but this time with enough money to actually bribe the officers back at London. Sounds good to me. So I'll probably take a... Just kind of go north-ish, a little bit east, to the Isle of Cats. And then from there... Hmm... I don't know. I might have to head up to Con Shadow to resupply, and then west to London. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to head up to the Isle of Cats and then return to London.